Rais Jakaya Kikwete amesema hayo jijini Dar es Salaam wakati wa maadhimisho miaka msini ya ushirikiano baina ya Tanzania na Benki ya Dunia iliyoambatana na uzinduzi wa kitabu kinachoelezea historia ya ushirikiano huo uliwanza mwaka 1965 kwa benki hiyo kuipatia serikali ya Tanzania mkopo wa kwanza wa dola za Kimarekani milioni tano kwa ajili ya kuendeleza kilimo. Now we are almost getting to the point where now Tanzania is going to come of age. We have supported us over the many years. Let us now intensify the support so that we transit quickly to the second to the middle income country and then in the shortest possible time become a developed economy move from 1096 to 12000 dollars per capita and we live in, in in the different world altogether so all i'm simply saying is that we thank you so much we've done encouragingly well with regard to provision of basic social and economic services We've been doing well with regards to the productive sectors but we have not done enough yet. We need to do more. Mapema makamu wa rais wa benki ya dunia kwa kanda ya Afrika bwana Mhtar Diop amesema ushirikiano wa benki ya dunia na serikali ya Tanzania katika kipindi cha miaka hamsini iliyopita ulikuwa katika nyanja za fedha, ruzuku, ushauri wa sera na utafiti uliohusisha maeneo mbalimbali. Amesema Benki ya Dunia itaendelea kusaidia juhudi za serikali za kutokomeza umaskini uliokithiri ambapo kwa mwaka huu pekee Benki ya Dunia imeidhinisha mkopo mkubwa kuliko yote wa dola za Marekani milioni 844 kwa ajili ya kugharamia miradi mipya. Today Tanzania stands out as a global leader on many fronts and is becoming a center of investment for the global community with agreements signed for development programs during high visit Uh, uh, leaders from various countries in the world and taking on challenges agenda such as addressing maternal mortality and joining initiatives to make the government more open and transparent but we still have many challenges institution building is clearly the central challenge ahead further progress is needed to improve quality of local service delivery in health education water supply and agriculture. Katika mdahalo kuhusu kwa nini Watanzania wanapaswa kulipa kodi, Katibu Mkuu wa Wizara ya Fedha Dr. Servasius Kilikwelile na mwenyekiti wa taasisi ya sekta binafsi Tanzania TPSF Dr. Reginald Dimengi walisema urasimu ukusanyaji na ulipaji kodi nchini umegubikwa na changamoto nyingi zikiwa muhuduni wa miundombinu, uwezo wa wasimamizi na tatizo la rushwa. Look at the levels of poverty that are still high. So essentially if you are looking at a tax base again you have a very narrow very narrow population where you can actually collect the infrastructure gap is also huge and it's only when you invest in, in infrastructure when you allow participation of our people in the economic activities and this is something that uh, that we really need to grapple with the informal sector is big Again, I think the quotation from Mr. President is quite right that uh, really there are people who are making a lot of money but then how do you get get them to pay? So next is the infrastructure to reach to the potential areas. Again, it's not there. And to the extent there is uh, rampant corruption, uh, it's going to be very difficult indeed. You can collect as much money as possible. But a lot of it will disappear and will be abused. We are paying taxes, but there is abuse of the whole system, um, which, in my opinion, is a product of corruption. 